Hey, what's going on, everybody? Joseph Sadar here. Praise you guys are doing lovely as always. And guys, welcome to today's prophetic word. And this is this is another good one, guys. Like I'm 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 really excited to share this one. I know I say it a lot, but you know this message should really set somebody free. I've been really feeling heavily in my spirit that this this is definitely somebody needs to hear this one. So yeah, like I said, I'm excited to share it. But before I do, just please remember not every prophetic word is meant for everyone you know if you feel like it's meant for you please please take it to the lord guys please take it to the lord to be sure it's really important to do that you know as i said before it's like not everybody's in the same season doesn't mean that a prophetic word may won't be for you in the future but you know there's just you just got to definitely test the spirits and you got to seek the lord to get the confirmation guys it's very very important oftentimes you'll know if a prophetic word is meant for you it'll kind of like you know something will will sound in your spirit if you will so yeah so but just remember guys only prophesy in part only know in part so yeah just like i said get the get the confirmation from the lord seek him for the whole story amen all right guys so the title the lord gave me today is a whole new level and you know you already know what i'm about to do let's go ahead into the scriptures so the first one comes from Genesis 17, uh, 1 through 8. It's a, it's a passage, so bear with me. But it reads, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram. I'm sorry, it says when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I am almighty God, walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. Then Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with you and you shall be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of you and kings shall come from you and I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and your descendants after you. Also, I give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are a stranger, all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Genesis thirty-two twenty-eight reads, and he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Matthew 3.17 reads, and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. First Peter 2.9 reads, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So my friends, in this prophetic word, the Lord wants to warmly reassure you that you are not the same person you were before. You are not the same person you once were. You are on a whole new level. And God is bringing you into the fullness of your identity and in the fullness of your destiny. He, there's really no more room to doubt. Like, there's no more room to doubt, you know, because what the Lord has decreed over you is indeed, in fact, reality. It's a reality, guys. The, you are no longer your old self, your old patterns, your old self-image, your old mistakes, like you are not who you once were. And the Lord has magnificently refined and transformed you, you know, and his work in you has not been minor guys. Like, you know, it. you know how far you've come, right? You know, you have a new identity as well as a new clearance, if you will. You know, it's like, you know, you kind of have this new security clearance where, you know, the Lord is granting you access to more doors, more opportunities, and more favor. And this is a result of your obedience to him throughout, you know, this tough journey. You know, the Lord is saying that 
there is no more room and no time to doubt yourself because you have been made new. You and you are made in his perfect image and you are exactly, exactly what he said you are. Uh, you are exactly what he's told you you are. You know, th that those are things that make you. That's who you are. Exactly. No other thing. And it's time to truly start living this way. You know, it's time to start seeing yourself in this identity. It's time to respect yourself in this manner. You know, not to be prideful, you know, but to carry with bold confidence, you know, that thing which the Lord said you are, you know, for some of you, you know, the Lord has given you a new name, you know, just as he named Abraham, the father of many nations, you know, the Lord is, you know, giving some of you a new name or, you know, a new title with significant and abundant provisions. You know, this new name is attached to your, your destiny and your portion. And the Lord is saying that this new name he's given you is, is an abundant blessing that is not only blessing you, but blessing those around you. You know this this one is for you. You know, he's brought you to a whole new level and he's refined you in many undeniable ways. You know, people see the change, you know, within you. You've outgrown certain circles, you know, certain groups or things. You've truly represented the new creature Christ has made you to be. You know, you can even feel the shift internally. Ephesians 2.10 reads, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. 2 Corinthians 5.17 reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Genesis 1.27 reads, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And now there's also some of you, even though you've been, you know, through this transformation, even though you are a new creation, there are still times where you aren't fully walking in this or you aren't fully accepting this new person you are. You know, I don't know who this is for, but for some of you, you know, it's been tough to constantly see yourself in this new light, you know, as this new creation. You know, you'll occasionally, you know, remember the things of old. You'll remember, you know, your, your past mistakes and all those things, whatever they may be. But that's the thing. Like God's grace and his love is far greater than your mistakes. And that's why he's a good God. And that's why he's worthy to be praised. He's a good father, guys. He's a good, good father. He's molded and transformed you. You know, you're not perfect, but God has done a new work within you. You know, some of you have realized that, you know, even certain sins, they disgust you more. You know, you're more in love with God's word and his kingdom. You're more in love you know, with what God is doing. And the Lord is saying that's because you are on a whole new level. It's time to fully walk in that. Like for real this time. <laughs> yeah, I know I've spoken about, you know, something like this in the past, but, but because just because of this year and everything that's going on, like God is really positioning us to just walk in that true identity, just unwavering guys, because, you know, this year moving forward, it's a very crucial time for the remnant, like a very, very crucial time, guys. You know, it, it's time to really get our ducks in a row. And the one thing we must not waver on is who we are. We must know who we are. We have to know we have immeasurable value in Christ, you know, because we are the Christ representatives. We are the Christ representatives. We are the light. We are the children of God. God is using us. And the Lord is about to grant some of you access to places that you've never seen or been before. Like literally, guys, there's so many things that are on the horizon, like really big stuff, y'all. Like seriously, um, God is preparing many wonderful things um, to the, for those that love him. 1 Corinthians 2.9 reads, 
But as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Psalm 84.11 reads, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. You know, and the Lord is saying that you just you just must know who you are, guys. You must know who you are. He has you on a whole new level. I know I keep saying that, but he has you on a whole new level. And the doors that are opening are opening because you've passed the tests in the wilderness. It's because you've been approved and pruned by the Lord. And the Lord is wanting you to understand that you have power. You know, you have awesome and magnificent power through him. Your DNA comes from the creator of all life. You know, the enemy fears the God inside of you and God is well, well pleased with you. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation and his very special people. Luke 10, uh, 20 reads, Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. John 28 reads, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man plug them out of my hand. Ephesians 3, 6 reads that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel. And Ephesians 1, 3 reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Look, honestly, guys, like the whole book of Ephesians is very, very uh, relevant to this prophetic word. And the reason the Lord really wants you to know or wants you to own the new level you're on Because this is a time where your fruit is going to really change things, guys. Like, it's going to do major damage to the enemy. You know, because, guys, there's a lot of so-called believers, you know, that have fallen off the map. You know, they've, they've fallen into conformity of the world. You know, they've allowed the world to sway them. Uh, we're witnessing the apostasy, you know, and as we speak. And true believers in Christ are going to shine even brighter during this time. You know, sound doctrine is going to pierce the false doctrine. You know, light is going to diminish the darkness and your fruit is going to really hurt the enemy's plans. You know, I believe the Lord is definitely speaking a double portion over his remnant because it hasn't been easy. You know, God is delivering. Well, I was to say, but God is delivering and this is the fruit of the whole new level that you're on. Isaiah 61, uh, 7 is a verse for the remnant right now. It reads, instead of your shame, you will have a double portion. And instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Everlasting joy will be theirs. God is saying that you didn't go through all that training just for nothing and nothing you've been through up to this point has been in vain. Nothing, nothing you've been through has been in vain. You know, I don't know how many of you have ever gotten a promotion in the corporate world before, but what happens when you get a promotion is, you know, your pay increases, your perks increase, you know, your compensate, your compensation, you know, increase, whatever that looks like. You know, you have new responsibilities for sure, but your boss trusts you with these new responsibilities, you know, because he knows you can handle it. Your boss knows that you're ready to take on this new promotion because you've done well with your previous position. And the Lord is saying that you've been promoted to a whole new level. You're not the same person and you must see yourself as nothing less than what he's promoted you to be. And just as the world, you know, can take care of its own, the Lord is saying, how much greater can he take care of you? How much better are his promises and his provisions for you, right? 
which brings us to Matthew 7, 11, and it reads, if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? God is saying that this is your portion. You know, you must know this and you must realize that this is a whole new level. And you must know that your fruit is an infragable and untenable blow to the enemy. That's why you must stay on track. You got to be focused on the things of God. You got to be focused, guys. You really do. You must never stop pursuing the kingdom in this way. Because the one thing, the only thing the enemy can do is distract you. You know, you can have the greatest arsenal of weapons in combat. But if you never use them, they're, they're useless against the enemy. So you have to use them. And likewise, you must never forget who you are and what you are. <laughs> like, never forget that, guys. You have immense power in Christ. You know, you are on a whole new level and you have to be ready in season and out of season because unfortunately the enemy doesn't take breaks. <laughs> the second Timothy um, 4.2 reads, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. <laughs> Guys, 2021 has its wonderful blessings and its provisions, but the enemy, at the same time, the enemy also has some dastardly schemes that is going to rock this world. Like, you know, God hasn't given me the full picture of what's going on, you know, what's going to happen in this year moving forward in regards to what the enemy is planning. But let's just say you need to be ready, you know, fully walking up this new level you're on, fully utilizing the power you have. Because Anyone who isn't anchored in Christ is going to be tossed to and fro. You know, it's going to be carried away by this wild storm that is approaching. And let's just say it's been easy to play church, you know, to play Christian up to this point. But, you know, it's going to be revealed who has the power of Christ and who doesn't in these times to come. And the Lord is saying that you are going to shine in these dark times. So do not falter. You are being taken care of and you will be more and more like kind of pushed into the spotlight. For some of you, that's exciting. For some of you, it's a little nerve wracking, but yeah, like the Lord is using you. This is your new level. And the last verse I read is Philippians 1.6. And it reads, being confident of this very thing, that he who has began a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Guys, it's crunch time. <laughs> it's crunch time. You don't need me to say that. You all know that. So guys, don't doubt yourselves. God has had his hand on you from the very beginning. His plans are to give you that expected. And it's only been to prosper you and not to harm you guys. So know that you're on a whole new level. Love him, praise him, obey him, and continue on with abundant thanksgiving, you know, knowing that he is taking care of you. Amen. And that's a wrap on today's prophetic word, guys. As always, I pray it has magnificently blessed whoever it's been for. You know, guys, I really feel like someone needed that message. You know, I felt that really strong in my spirit. So I pray that, you know, it reaches, this message reaches whoever it's for. And um, guys, I just really would like to thank you all just for, of course, the amazing contributions to the growth of this channel you, you all have made. I mean, your emails, your feedback, your, your comments, and your faithful financial gifts, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for that. You're like, you really have no idea how much it helps, how much it's blessed me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for that. Y'all have an amazing rest of your week. Um, I don't know. Is is January going by fast for everyone? I, I don't know. It's usually January goes by fast, but it's already the 7th. Like, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you more. But anyway, either way, we're almost near the weekend. So with that being said, 
Y'all have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.